I'm sick, guys. So hi, guys. I'm back. Um, see, I told you I was going to be up with another video. I don't know why. Why do I always do that? It's so weird. Uh, but yeah, these are a lot of products that I haven't tried. Um, either in a long time or are brand spanking new, like these Urban Decay products. Um, even my lip I've never tried before. I kind of really like it for every day. It's like... You could see my natural lip, but not. Kind of like it. Uh, by the way, guys, upcoming video is going to be my lazy hair days. This is uh, third day hair or second day hair. I can't remember. But I'm going to do a video on how I re revive my curls. Um, I don't really do much secret. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and the best part about these videos guys is like I get to wear these products that, like as first impressions and then later in the day I'm going to come back and do the voiceover for the video so I can actually tell you my thoughts on how they held up during the entire day um, and if I'm going to keep them basically if I love them right so anyways thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and for all my subscribers thanks so much for subscribing this is like too much talking for me I've been really sick lately um, but there is that little bell by the subscribe box that you click and I just want to let you guys know if you hit that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video and I'm gonna try to keep that to once a week so you won't get too many because I tend to get irritated when there's too many as well <laughs> anyways guys thanks for watching bye hi guys so I'm back I prime and prepped my face with this Elta MD clear 45 SPF and the Josie Marin finishing balm I really love this stuff you've seen it in my videos numerous times so this is the new finally a new color corrector for darker skin people in deep peach by urban decay um, I didn't notice a heavy fragrance with this like the concealers I don't know about you but uh, the concealers give me this really weird fragrance but this didn't uh, so I think, uh, I just want to say first off that uh, thanks to Alyssa, one of my subscribers who told me to try a color corrector, but here I think my blending method is incorrect. I used a beauty blender, it soaked up product, and I kind of blended it all away rather than um, leaving it on the surface of my skin, and I sh think I should have used a different brush. But just so you guys know that Sephora, the Sephora collection makes uh, the same product, and it's much cheaper. So this is my holy grail, my best color match ever. It didn't focus, but uh, this is uh, the Genius Gel by Marc Jacobs in 82 Cocoa Light. I love this stuff. It's so lightweight. It's more of a medium coverage. That's why I usually mix it in with the Remarkable if I'm going out. So I'm just going to blend this in with an E8 by Morphe. These are the Elite brushes. Um, I just want to say these brushes aren't available, but if you go on the Morphe website, they have the exact same brushes with different feral colors like um, their rose gold now and their elite two are quite similar they just look different but it's the same brush um, also I'm I bought a few of those new brushes and I'll be posting them on my Instagram um, if you guys want to check that out my Instagram's green eye ambition um, so check it out if that's something you guys would be interested in that's where I tend to post all my new products with my first impressions if I don't do a video about it. So here guys, I'm just blending everything in. I really like to beat that foundation into my face because I like it to look like skin and not that it's actually sitting on the surface of my face. So the color corrector kind of worked for medium foundation and for such a sheer layer that I put in. Again, I would like to say that I think if I used a different blending method with the color corrector originally, I'd get better results. So I'm gonna use this same color corrector under my eyes. If you guys are subscribers and watchers of my channel, you know that I love the Bobbi Brown Dark Peach. It is like the best color corrector for under your eyes ever. But um, I'm branching out, guys. I mean, I did buy this other product. Oh, the funny faces I make.
Okay, guys. Next, I'm going to take the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Touche Eclat Radiant Stick in Praline. It's the 5.5. Obviously, this color is too light for me to wear, like, on its own, but it really just, I'm just going to use it in the areas to brighten up my face. It doesn't really give you a coverage. It's more like of something you would add on top of your concealer, I feel, um, to increase uh, the brightness in those areas and it really did just brighten up those areas and it doesn't give me a gray cast or anything that's why I really like this. So recently I've been really liking this combo um, of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and the Hourglass ambient powder in Radiant Light. I've been mixing them together. The Laura Mercier powder is like holy grail for me. It kind of smooths everything out, no pores, and keeps all those oilier areas on my face matte. That's what you'll notice. I only put the powder in the areas that I get the most oiliest. And the Radiant Light by Hourglass really just gives me a more luminous finish and not so dry. So this is another holy grail for me. This is the Chanel Le Beige powder in N40. This stuff is awesome. I'm using a Morphe E2 brush to apply it. It is just the best color match for me. I find that other powders tend to go gray on me as the day progresses. Um, but this is just exactly my skin tone and it's hydrating. I just love it. It's not powdery looking. So this bronzer is the Laura Mercier uh, bronzing powder. I'm using the Morphe 5. Uh, M527. It is one of my favorites. You can never go wrong with this uh, bronzing brush. It just does what it's supposed to do and it's effortless. So again, these brushes are available in different colors. Okay, so now to the piece de resistance. <laughs> the uh, Urban Decay Highlighting Fluid in Sin, this is also new. Um, on my hand there it looks a little stark, but uh, I was not impressed with this, guys. As the day progressed, um, it didn't really... I think the idea of this is supposed to give you a lit from within, like with no sparkle, which I love, that's something I'm always looking for, but it kind of just didn't last on my skin and it disappeared, like literally within the hour it was gone and I felt like I wasn't wearing any highlighter even here you'll see that I, it looks like I'm not wearing any highlighter it just doesn't maybe I'm too used to those other types of highlighters but it really didn't give me that look that I was going for okay so I'm using a sample here I know so funny but this is the bite beauty multi stick sample in papaya I got like three four samples of them uh, from Sephora which I posted the swatches of if you're interested of the other colors on my Instagram uh, I like the color of this but I don't know if I like this product so much to purchase I mean the thing with blushes is I feel like you're wearing them one second and a few minutes later it's gone. If anybody has any great recommendations of great blushes, leave that below. So I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Sculptor in chocolate. This is like the best color match for me because my hair is not really black. It's like brownie black. So that's why this one suits me the best. I haven't found a better one. This is a new product for me as well. This is the MAC Cream Sheen in Cream in Your Coffee. Um, I think this is a great color for every day. It kind of, Cream Sheen meaning that you can see a little bit of your original, like your own lips. And that's why I liked about this for an everyday. But thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe.